Good afternoon and welcome to Jehovah Jireh. I am Pastor Andre Andrews and we're going to open our services this morning with uh, this afternoon rather, with a word of prayer before we set the tone for the sermon on today. I don't know about you all, but I know I need prayer. Eternal Master, we thank you, oh God. We thank you for the opportunity to lift your name on high, oh God. For if it was not for you, oh God, where would we be? Lord, if I had 10,000 tongues, I could not thank you enough for what you have already done, oh God. I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, we need you more than we ever needed you before, oh God. You told us, your word declares that there will be trials and tribulations in this life, but to be of good cheer, for you overcame the world. And Lord, that now that we are sons and daughters of the Most High God, we are overcomers as well. So Lord, I pray that you would just uh, blow your power on us, Lord. Put a fresh anointing on us and strengthen us, Lord. And, and, and all the endeavors and all the things that we go through on the day-to-day -day life, oh God. Lord, we know that there is a, a trial coming, Lord, if we're not already in one, Lord. We know that we are bogged down with, with so many things that we couldn't even name. But, Lord, we thank you that you are a good, good God. That you sit high, but yet look low. That you loved us so much that you came down and you tabernacled with your people. Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. And, Lord, we thank you that you are with us. And the difficulties of life, Lord, and they're difficult times, Lord, but we're going to have joy. We're going to have joy, 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 and it's all because of you. So we lift your name up, we exalt you, we magnify you. In Jesus' holy name, we do pray and we say amen and thank God. And if you would, Remain standing with me, those are in the sanctuary, as we go into our responsive reading. And our responsive reading this morning, I'm so prone to saying morning, actually this afternoon, uh, we're going to be reading from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 8 through 13. So that's 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 8 through 13, for those who are at home who would like to read along with us. And the scripture reads, it says, Now then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took, I took you from the pasture and from following the flock to be the ruler over my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you have gone, and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make your name great, like the names of the greatest men of the earth. And I will provide a place for my people, Israel, and I will plant them so that they can have a home, a home of their own, and no longer be disturbed. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did at the beginning. And have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people, Israel. I will also give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord declares to you that the Lord himself will establish a house for you. When your days are over and you rest with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you. Who, who will come from your own body and I will establish his kingdom. He is the one who will build the house for my name, and he will establish his throne and his kingdom forever. Amen. May you have been blessed by the hearing and the reading of the word of God. Our announcements for this week are stay in a mindset of joy, peace, and love during this Advent season. We are uh, we're a young church just starting out, and we hope that we would have uh, some of you come out to our uh, edifice that we're that we're at at this 
current moment at 20225 Finkel Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. Um, it's Northwestern Community Baptist. We're, we're two churches in one while we're waiting on our edifice to be uh, finalized. So you can meet us at 1.30 on Sunday afternoons, and we're also serving at 11 o'clock Northwestern. So you can reach us at 20225 Finkel Avenue, those who would like to come and worship with us in the sanctuary. But the scripture is clear. It says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves. So we would be so glad to have you, to fellowship with you, and love on you a while. So come on out and visit with us. We're going to have one selection, and then we're going to go straight into our message.